is the not free. This is a, the this is the uh, free if they accepted twenty or 20, 25 I think it was a twenty five dollar um, old farm collection. Really large old family, multiple generations. Uh, I think it's homesteaders, or they thought it was, we thought it might be homesteaders. Um, uh, left by the side of the road, so it was actually for free. And it, they gave me free eggs. They, they felt they, they almost sounded like. <laughs> she felt bad charging me for it, but I was like, I'm glad I, I, I'm not super worried about it because this is definitely the 151 most smoothest moving. It's a little, it's definitely stiffer with the stitch selector mechanism, but it's that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead. She wound up really well. I can tell the um, thread tensioning is working perfect. Big difference between um, one and eight. I'm going to go ahead and pause and do the first stitches. I'm going to start with a, uh, uh, maybe I'll start with um the, the uh, I'll do one, switch up to the biggest, and then work my way down through the letters. Uh, is that numbers? Oh, it's numbers. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Then I'll go for reverse at the end. Um, I'm guessing there's a stitch length region in reverse, too. Maybe I'll increment through that. Let's do that. Okay, pausing. Okay, right here, this little section is on here. And this was interesting. When I had it down... Um, I might have had two logs for my view, it might have been on that bar, but uh, wow, that was uh, definitely super close <laughs> stitch. I wasn't sure I was moving at first, but it, I think it was. So I had to slowly move it up and then go to the biggest stitch length, which I almost think the feed dogs were kind of not coming up enough. And then I realized, because it didn't seem like it was catching well, or maybe it was such a close stitch length. Then I realized, ooh, this is loose. I might need to remove that and almost feels like it's up a little high, like I feel a lip. There's definitely more of a lip on this, you can probably even see it. Yeah, there's a little more of a lip on this side, so um, hopefully that plate wasn't on wrong, and like this parts machine where, uh, you know, that bent all the way up, the feed dogs bent that up. Hopefully the feed dog didn't hit there and bend that up, and I've got to adjust the feed dogs. Because I have a feeling it wasn't fe feeding as aggressively as it could. Um, I don't know what it could be with this stitch mechanism somehow, but, you know, as I move, you definitely know, can see the dogs working their way. <laughs> so, um, I should maybe double check and test, test, yeah, check to make sure everything's tight there. Like I say, this, this is... Yeah, that, that plate's loose, so I didn't notice that. Man, I'm eager to try again, though. Just to see, but I think this stitch doesn't look too bad. It's a black thread, so on this color, maybe I'll try doing over in that color with the black. Um, let's see. Almost looked like it could use a little more tension. I think it's okay though. Actually, I think it's right on. Yeah, I think the tension's good. Yeah, it's good. It looks good to me from visually looking, too. Okay, so I think attention's on, but, um, uh, yeah, the feet just seem kind of awkward. So I got it all the way up. Let's see. Oh, darn. <laughs> I pulled it off. I broke the string. So this has got an old string. I probably mercerized boil fast coat. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all cotton. I don't know. This is really the best um, string, I say. Thread to use. I'm going to go ahead and pause and then do this again. I'm gonna, I want to go with the... I'm going to video with the highest stitch length and just see what, what um, I, I catch. Okay, so as I suspected, um, something was affecting the stitch length. So I started... This one here, the longest thread. Focus isn't going to cooperate. <laughs> of course, why not? I mean, you just don't want to. There, anyways. Um, actually, it looks good tension wise from what I can see. I don't think there's black being um, pulled up too much. That's a bummer. Mercy said focus closer. But um, as you go down, Oddly, 
and my stitch gets so close. This is like a super tight stitch. <laughs> Seemed to still feed, but what I what did I notice? I noticed when I went down and then tried to come back up to increase length as having issues. I did wind up loosening the presser foot. The presser foot did seem down pretty hard, and I never did loosen this plate because I was just kind of curious to see, thinking the presser foot would hold all this down. I'm wondering if it was a little too much, and then this uneven surface. I gotta, I gotta, I have to do that. It's kind of dumb what I'm doing. I should know better. I should get this all level first, figure out, remove that, clean underneath. Why is that not seated all the way down? Maybe it's the wrong piece. I don't know. But I'll work on that. The stitch, though, I, I actually am surprised um, how well it's, it's, uh, I don't think it's definitely not too much tension up top or too low, excuse me, if anything it'd be too much. I think it's okay. I think it's it's good tension wise. Um but yeah, it's kinda hiccuping um this closest stitch. Boy, can I zoom in? Man, does it get a close stitch? This would be the setup for the closest stitch machine. Um Definitely not the prettiest yet. I still got to do some adjustments. So anyways, I need to get those feed dogs coming up a little better. I think they're coming up enough. I don't think that's too little. Might be a little crooked though. I kind of wonder. It's not level enough. Cause it does look like it's being wonky with the feed dogs. Like I'm thinking it might not be coming up enough. So compared to this other machine, um, and it's a kind of a just, you know I shouldn't be comparing the machines, but this one's coming. It's like the focus, of course. This one's coming up a little more. So. The feed dogs are coming up a little higher. So I'm thinking the feed dogs aren't coming up high enough and this plate could be bent. So I might need to bend that plate back down. My focus is just not auto-focusing at all. Okay, um, be safe, stay healthy, and until next time, Christ be with you.